Hi, this is Marie Planchard here at SolidWorks, and today I'm going to talk about the NAFEMS benchmark, a hemisphere under pressure at a particular point. Let's take a look at how we're going to do this in SolidWorks, first by modeling a hemisphere, and then in the same software interface, setting the forces and boundary conditions. Let's begin. Select New. Select Part, click OK. Select Office Products and click SolidWorks Simulation. You can also select Tools, Add-ins, and check the SolidWorks Simulation box. Underneath Help, SolidWorks Simulation, select on the Verification Tutorials, NAFEMS Benchmarks. There is Linear Static, Nonlinear Analysis, Thermal, Natural Frequency, and others to choose from. In this case, under Linear Static, I will select on the Hemisphere, under External Pressure. Read through the problem and understand the boundary conditions and the loads applied. Click here to open the part. Let's see how this part was created in SolidWorks. You can take a look by selecting the Study tab as to how the boundary conditions and loads were applied. Let's create this part in SolidWorks so I can show you a few features. Right-click on the top plane, click Sketch. Click Centerline. Sketch a vertical centerline from the origin. Select Center Point Arc and create a 90-degree arc from below the origin to directly to the right. Select on Smart Dimension. Click the radius and enter a position. The radius of the problem is given as 10 millimeters. I also want to create a horizontal relationship. Select the endpoint of the arc, hold the control key down, and select the origin. Select Make Horizontal. You want to make sure that the arc is fully defined. Select the center line. This will be your axis of revolution. Select Insert Surface Revolve. When thin faces occur and are given in a finite element problem, use surfaces. When you have symmetry, apply symmetrical boundary conditions. In this case, I can use 90 degrees instead of 360. With a lot less geometry and boundary conditions on either end to be fixed, the problem will take less time to calculate a solution. Select on Reference Geometry, select Point, click the curved face. SolidWorks will find the center point on the face. You also need some more reference geometry, which is an axis between the center point and the origin. Select on Insert, Reference Geometry, Axes. Turn on the origin under View Origins. Select the origin. The point was pre-selected since the, that was the last geometry I created. You now have an axis between the origin and the point on your surface. Looks great! Let's compare it to what SolidWorks has given me under the SolidWorks Simulation NAFEMS External Pressure example. I can tile horizontally and compare what I've created to what SolidWorks has presented to me. This is also the case. You can edit each feature. Right-click on the Feature Manager and select Edit Feature. I can also do this by selecting on the Study. SolidWorks created the study. Right-click on Mesh, select Mesh and Run to see the results. Now you can look at Stress, Displacement, and Strain. In SolidWorks, you can double-click on the geometry, in this case 10, and modify the radius to 15. Although this isn't part of the problem, it's a good idea to see how geometry changes different conditions. Remember to mesh and run every time you change the geometry, but within one interface, it's a lot easier. Expand the Results folder and view the results for displacement and strain. There are other settings inside of SolidWorks that you can use to control the color and the scale. 